Hello everybody and welcome to a vlog. I haven't done a vlog in so long so I thought today I'm going to do one. I was actually going to do a normal sit down video and film this but actually I'm completely petrified and I feel like if I make it too much of a production it's just going to like turn into a right nightmare. So today I'm going to be, I'm going to be colouring my own hair. Let's just Oh, just people just pray to the Lord that this is going to be okay because to be quite honest I've no idea what I'm doing. So as you can see um, I have like blonde bits on the ends and then I have a darker root. Usually my root is much darker than this but because obviously of lockdown it's all grown out and now it's looking just a bit too reddish and not dark enough at the root. So I messaged my hairdresser and I was like right oh Tilly I'm so sorry this is so scary. Um, I messaged my hairdresser and she told me what colour to get so I've ordered a colour and I'm just hoping that I'm gonna be able to do it myself. I did just wanna have a go at colouring my own hair, to be honest, but at the same time, it's just quick and easy, and I do have an appointment at the end of the month, so if anything goes horrendously wrong, Tilly will be able to fix it for me, because um, she's just like the queen of hair. Um, but yeah, today, we're gonna be doing it. We're gonna be going alone. So, I've got this hair dye. It's a L'Oreal professional one and then I also rang my sister because my sister is also a hairdresser because I got that hair dye. It's just one I bought off Amazon. It was the one Tilly recommended and then she, my sister told me to get me some of this stuff which apparently you mix in with the colour. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. I am... I'm beyond petrified. Should I show you these close-ups so you can actually see? So she told me to get this stuff and then apparently I mix it with the hair dye. This is the hair dye. It's a 6.0, I don't know. It should get me the colour that I want. I need it, Kate told me, Kate's my sister, she said it needs to be like a sloppy consistency. So I think I just need to like have a go and do it and it'll be okay. So, oh God, I'm so scared. Okay, I've put a dressing gown on. This is actually Brett's dressing gown. Let's hope I don't get any hair dye on it. Um, I've got a dressing gown on because I don't want to get it on my clothes and I am just quite a clumsy person. So I just know I'm gonna end up getting on my clothes. Um, and then I'm gonna put a towel down, I think, on my desk while I mix this up. Right, I've got a little scale. So I'm thinking, because I also ordered from Amazon, like just a cheap, like mixing, Pot and some tools because I thought well I'm not going to be doing this like all the time so I've got some cheap little like tools that I'm going to do it with so I want to mix out shall I show you what I'm doing okay so I need to like zero the scales oh my god I can't even explain to you how scared I am okay so I think my sister said I would need like half of this and half of this white one. So let's just, oh my God, I'm scared. I feel like I've done half a tube of this stuff. Oh, that smells like hair dye. I'm so sorry to all these hairdressers out here thinking I'm going fucking mad, but I've um, put like half the thing in and then I've done it to the same weight, the other half of this white stuff here, whatever that is. And um, now I'm gonna mix it together. So let's see what happens. Okay, so she said it had to be sloppy. I feel like that's pretty sloppy. So I'm gonna stop putting it on. To say that I'm scared to do this is an absolute understatement. I am absolutely petrified, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna try. Oh, should I be wearing gloves? Gloves are on, because it says I should wear gloves. So here we go. Oh my God, I'm so scared. I can't even explain to you. Right, I have, a grey patch so I'm gonna start actually at the grey patch so that I know that they're like they've got hair dye on them oh my god so much hair gets caught 
This is instantly one of those things, you know, when you're like, oh, it looks so easy, it must be easy, and then you start doing it and you're like, there is nothing easy about this situation. <laughs> oh, why do I keep doing that? be the most beautiful you've ever seen me look on this channel <laughs> um, but I've covered as much of my root as I think I can I do know I've got a little bit in my fringe which I didn't want in there um, but I'm probably gonna leave it on a few more minutes and then I'm gonna wash it out so So I've just washed the colour off and this is what it's looking like at the minute. Do you know what? I don't think it actually looks that bad. I think it actually looks pretty friggin' good. So I think what I need to do, I mean, I'm just so glad that all the grey is gone because I have a massive patch of grey here, um, like right there that grows and it's just absolutely horrible. So I tell you what, I've not done a bad job of blending it. I think it is like I've got a bit crazy with the darkness around here so it's not quite as light around my face but it had grown out so I kind of like had to cover it I, d I didn't really know what else to do like typically when I have my hair done I'll have a few little blonde foils put in as well um, which I guess would make this look a bit lighter but actually I don't think I've done a bad job at all so what I'm gonna do is I need to fix my face because my makeup is looking a little crazy right now and then I've just got to run out in the taxi do a quick job and then I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna curl my hair and we're gonna look at kind of what it looks like all together because it's looking okay at the front. Let's just hope the back looks okay as well. So I will see you, well, I will see you in about an hour, but you're gonna see me in about two seconds. <laughs> so I've just got back from my quick taxi run and I'm looking at my hair properly now and I'm gonna, it's definitely a lot darker like, I think I probably didn't need to take the colour as far down as I did, but it's done now, and I've not got quite as much blonde around these bits, but I tell you what, I, I actually quite like it, because I like a really dark root anyway, and then I like the blonde to be put on top, so I think what I'm going to do is, just next time I go to the hairdressers, just have a few more blonde bits put in, and my hair is like really crap at holding on to colour anyway so usually when I have the dark colour put on within a few weeks it all washes out my hair so it's actually quite nice to see that very very dark root again so I'm going to use my straighteners and I'm just gonna you know I'm not going to do anything too crazy I'm just going to put a few curls in just so we can see the the blonde again because I do find that when you curl your hair that it allows the blonde to come through a little bit more quite nice I need to stand up my arms killing me oh that's better you can see now so it's just got the warmer blondie like 
caramelly blonde tones through the ends and I've just got that really nice dark root which so typically like at the hairdressers they would lighten these bits a bit more but obviously like I've had to go over them here because of the obviously it needs to match the rest of the hair let me just move my mic there we go um but I think it looks nice and this will eventually fade out because just as I said before the dark never seems to stick in my hair. Sorry, I've just noticed that Brett's just come home. <laughs> yeah, the dark never seems to actually want to stick in my hair. So yeah, that's what it looks like. And that is it for my little DIY hair makeover. Obviously, I didn't go crazy because it's the first time I've ever dyed my hair and I didn't want to do anything where I was a bit like, oh God, a little bit out of my depth. Um, so I thought I would just try doing my ruse and I thought I would film it because I wasn't sure what the outcome was going to be and I don't know, it might be interesting for you guys. So, so I hope you enjoyed watching me dye my hair for the first time and any other video suggestions, don't forget to leave them down below and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!